It was no National Geographic expedition. After all, it was only two miles into the backcountry. But to our three-year-old and our one-year-old, it was the adventure of their short lifetime. Jackson shot out of the gate like a racehorse. For weeks now, he had been ready to go hiking a mountain. Proportionally speaking, in the minds of Jackson and Emmy, this would be on the level of the Lewis and Clark expedition, conquering the biggest obstacle that they had ever faced. Every rock was a mountain, every puddle was a mighty ocean to cross, every scurrying creature a brand new species for their inquisitive minds. Some families go to places like Disney World to experience a fairy tale land as imagined in the mind of a creative. And to be fair, I'm sure we'll take the kids to Disney someday. But have we forgotten that we have an actual real life fairy tale land right at our fingertips in the actual world around us? take our kids to the mountains every day and some have limitations and creative ideas have an important part in society. But there's so much more to see and observe and soak in than just what other people imagine. There's real life beauty and wonder out there to behold. said that for Aaron and I it was no Nat Geo expedition, but in all honesty, this was no easy walk in the park. Between corralling kids by a lake, diaper changes, hauling out those diapers, making sure the kids had enough clothes to stay warm on a 39 degree night and learning to take care of business without a toilet. Tears, and more tears. Learning to brush our teeth without a sink. Redirecting kids back to the tent. Stepping over fallen logs. It made for quite a day. questioned us and probably thought or think that we are crazy. And in full disclosure, the night before, there were definitely moments where we wondered what we were doing out there. With four people in a two-man tent, babies crying in the middle of the night, meltdowns while waiting for food, no toys to distract, potential injuries around every corner. But if you would have seen all of the discoveries, all of the teamwork, all of the determination, to get back up after you had fallen. It would begin to make more sense to you as it did to us. 
Our children are already growing so fast. Every moment rushing by, changing so quickly like the leaves of autumn. We only have so much time with them. And as they grow, we want them to see more than just a phone screen. To learn, not just by hearing, but by doing. There's an outdoor ethic that says, leave only footprints, take only photographs. We followed this advice, and though I was the only one with a camera, we all came away with far more than photographs. Full hearts, more determined spirits, a stronger itch of curiosity, and a deeper admiration for our creator. In the end, we survived. Some of us with more bumps and bruises than others. We made it back! Woohoo! <laughs> we almost made it back! <laughs>